Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will see how to make the screw spindle of a screw jack. You can download this file from the link given description also and you can watch my previous videos on how to make other parts of the screw jack from the link given in the description and the drawing details are like this and we'll just go to Katia mechanical design part design and I'll give the part name as screw spindle. And I'm going to choose any of the plane and I'm going to select it from the workbench or from the space over here and I'm going to click on sketching if you cannot see over here or here anywhere go to insert construct uh, sketcher and create sketch and I'll be using the line tool multiple times so I'm going to double click on it and here it is given as 38 mm so half of it will be 90 and the total height is 240 and this radius sorry and this diameter is 22 so first I'm going to start from the axis line so total height is 240 so I'm going to specify the length now itself so it will be 240 and from here the radius the diameter is 22 so I'm going to specify the length as 11 And the depth also they are given this one is 13 so i'll just add it simultaneously now now only it is easy to add and this this dimension i'll i'll do it later words. and now i'll add the dimension this one is 19 since the total is 38 it will be half 19 and i'll make sure that this one is vertical so yeah and now i'll continue adding the dimension and this diameter also they are given it as 65 so it will be half of it 65 divided by 2 here also you can add the mathematical equations uh, and from here till here they are given the height it is 83 okay and now we are done everything is fully defined we are not at the chamfer you will add the chamfer in the modeling part it shows iso constraint and we will exit the workbench and i will use the shaft tool and i am going to select this axis now I'll add the chamfer I'll select these two and the chamfer is 10 into 45 degree okay I'll add the length as 10 and the angle is 45 degree and now I'll make the through hole this hole uh, I'll just make it by creating a sketch of a square circle I'll just choose this any of the plane except the top plane you can just choose and create a sketch because since it is the revolved part and I'll just use the circle they are given the diameter as 12 and it is a through hole this distance is ok 35 mm and it is fully defined yeah and we'll exit the workbench and now we'll just create a pocket pocket is used to remove the material whereas pad is used to create the material that is extrude or here it is the extrude cut and I am going to use the more option because I am going to specify the lem uh, second limit also and I am going to choose up to the plane and here also up to the surface and yeah up to the surface it cuts till the next one and now we are done and now we will make this hole over here and to make that one again I am going to choose this any of the plane except the top plane and create a new sketch I am going to use the line tool multiple times so 
going to zoom in just it is not exact the line has not exactly been no here at the top so later also you can add the constraint that is not, not an issue And now I'll make sure that these two are coincidence. Yeah. And similarly for these two. And now I'll add a dimension. This one is let it be 60. And this distance is so M12, they are given it as M12 means that it is inside diameter will be 12 and outside will be 15. So 15 diameter, so it will be half of it, that is 7.5. And this one is M12, so it will be half of it, 6. And similarly, this one also, it will be 45 degree. So just delete this. I'll add the angle from here. It is 45 degree. And this one is also 45 degree, not 60 degree. And I think it is 60 degree. Okay, let us take it as 60 degree since they have not mentioned anything. And now let us add the height from here till here. They have given the total height to be 35. Okay. And now we'll exit from the workbench since it is fully constrained. Yeah. And we'll ex exit from this workbench and here now we'll use the groove option. Groove is very similar to the shaft tool. In the shaft tool, we can we'll add the material in the groove, it will cut the material, that is, it will remove the material. So I'm going to choose this axis. And yeah, and now we are done. And now we are left with one more thing: this threading. So we can add the threading from here. Or go to insert and in the dress up features threading anything is fine and I'm going to select this lateral face and I'm going to specify the limit face but, but before making that there is a small chamfer over here which is 1 into 45 degree because they are not specified here and here they are given unless otherwise stated chamfers are 1 into 45 degree so we have to add a chamfer first over there so I'll add the chamfer so it will be 1 into 45 degree and now I'll add the threadings. I'll just change the shape uh, view back to shading. Sh shading with edges. Yes. So that I can select the edges properly. And I'm going to choose this and I'm going to specify the limit phase. And I'm going to specify from here and the thread diameter is 38 by default it is taken and the thread depth they will give it uh, and the thread depth they have not they have given it at a 3 mm from here so what I'll do is and the, and the total is of 157 so I'll add it so that it will be 240 minus 83 minus 3 so it will be We'll just add the same dimension over here. Depth 240 minus 83 minus 3. Yeah, 154. And then we'll click on OK. Although you cannot see the threads, but it will be appearing in the drafting. And that's it. And now we'll add the material. Uh, first, I'll go to the top level and click on Apply Material over here. And for this, the material is FE410W. I've already made a video on how to create a custom materials and apply it to the board mit and apply it to the parts. You can check the videos from my link given in the description also. 
so we'll apply it okay I'll choose open the properties so I'll just apply it the top level you are not able to see the material because you have in different view go to shaded material and now you can see the material as applied and thank you for watching my video please do like and subscribe my channel for more videos like this and comment below for any suggestions thank you